Hey guys, Bill here. Well, as you might guess, I'm on a little bit of a break this week. This time I'm in the Bahamas and I'm on an island called Eleuthera. Now Eleuthera is this like really skinny little island and it's about 110 miles from Nassau, but it is a fantastic place. I mean, when you go to the beach here, you go basically to your own beach. I mean, look at this, right? There is nobody else here. Just the people I'm with over there. You see them right over here behind me. And we're just out here, we're enjoying ourselves. So anyway, I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks. And in the meantime, I have put together a short list of some oldie goldie reeler fakes that you probably haven't seen yet. So enjoy, and I'll see you in about two weeks. On the surface, Cartoon Cat just looks like something from a comic book. But some people think it is a lot more than just ink and paper. Is it possible this freaky feline has escaped the cartoon world to become something real, or are we just letting our imaginations get the best of us? Hey guys, Bill here. Now, a lot of you guys like Aura Skirmish, Optical Doge, and Geo Roach have been writing to me and asking me to do a real or fake on Cartoon Cat. And well, you know, I'll be honest with you. Up to this point, I've been like, seriously? I mean, why on earth would anyone think this creepy cat is anything more than just a drawing? But you know, the more I looked into it, the more I got interested, at least in the concept, I mean, this idea of something from a cartoon medium transforming into a real entity. So let's take a look. A brief look around the internet turns up tons of hits on Cartoon Cat. Now, according to Villains Wiki at fandom.com, Cartoon Cat is a hostile cryptid and an urban legend created by artist Trevor Henderson. Now, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the same guy that brought us Siren Head? Starting in August of 2018, a series of pictures were posted to Trevor Henderson's Instagram. The first is best described by Billy Styler from his video, Who is Cartoon Cat? It depicts an anthropomorphic cartoon-like figure crouching behind a doorway in what looks to be an abandoned building of some sorts. The caption reads, They're just like your favorite cartoon. Over the following weeks, Henderson posted three more pictures of Cartoon Cat. Now, while these pictures are unnerving, they don't really prove that there's anything really sinister about Cartoon Cat. In fact, the last picture came with a caption that read, well, that's all, folks. Many people believe that Cartoon Cat was actually inspired by an old 30s cartoon character called Felix the Cat. Hmm, so here's the question. Do you think it's possible that a character that basically comes from a sketch, right, you know, pencil on paper, uh, that's based on an old cartoon can somehow be invaded by an evil spirit or maybe an alien being from outer space and brought to life in the real world. Tell you what, why don't you guys tell me what you think? If you think Cartoon Cat somehow exists in the real world, then you vote real. But on the other hand, if you think this is all just pretend, well, you vote fake. And as usual, if you think there really is no answer, you vote unknown. Go ahead and leave me your votes up here if that's still working. If it isn't, you can always leave an answer down in the comment section. And hey, it doesn't matter if you're alone, you're with friends, with family, whatever. You can always shout it out too so everybody knows where you stand. While you do that, I'm going to get out the old recycled envelope that I've used about 150 times now. It's starting to look a little worn, but hey, you know, when you think about the number of trees you save, you know, it could be like 1 15th of a tree, but hey, it all adds up. It all adds up. So let's get back to the answer here uh and ladies and gentlemen the official answer is unknown despite a deep and thorough investigation of a cartoon cat we can't really determine if this is something cosmic filtered through our old media or just a creepy pasta taking on a life of its own but I gotta tell you, you know, the bigger mystery for me is I can't figure out whether this cartoon cat is either evil 
or good. I mean, when it starts out, he looks like kind of friendly, and then suddenly he's got like this weird look on his face, and then towards the end, he starts feeling like he's not so threatening after all. So I don't know, maybe one of these days, Trevor Henderson will tell us. Next up is this video that claims to show a mysterious creature known as the Fresno Nightcrawler. The video was sent in by dozens of people, including Lionel Jimenez, John Matrizis, and Monkey D. Ricky. It was recorded by a homeowner's security camera in Fresno, California, and shows, uh, well, this. Guys, this video deserves an entire show to its own, but there's a little problem with it and why I haven't done it as a big story. And that is that this one is officially unknown. Despite the heavy hitting research of Sci-Fi Channel's Fact or Faked show and an excellent recreation by the Para Breakdown Channel, pointed out to us by Sherwin-Cloud236, no one has ever been able to debunk this video with any solid evidence. Are they aliens? Ghosts? Puppets on a wire? Nobody knows for sure. Next up is this bizarre video. It was pointed out to me by Tony C, who just said, is it true there are robots so advanced they can do backflips? Tony, I know robots, AI, and all that stuff are making some incredible advances, but a robot that does backflips? That's pretty far-fetched if you ask me. Guys, take another look at this and tell me what you think. Okay, so leave your votes up here. Answers down in the comment section or just shout it out. I will get out the official answer here and we will see that perhaps sometime in the future, there will be an Olympics with a gymnastics event that only includes robots. Now that would be funny. And the official answer is, are you ready for this? I'm actually kind of shocked by this answer. It's real. Its name is Atlas, and it's just one of the many robots being developed by a company called Boston Dynamics. Now, according to their website, Atlas is about five feet or 1.5 meters tall and weighs about 165 pounds or 75 kilograms. Although his backflips are not always successful as we can see here, he truly is a symbol of why getting a good human education is more important than ever if you don't want him stealing your job. The picture was sent in by Tim Ingram, who wrote, Hey Bill, is this building for real or just a BFF? Tim, we've covered a lot of strange architecture here on Real or Fake. Remember that cliff house where the woman hanging on? That was fake. <laughs> but I got to say, this is the first time I've seen something where I went, Wow, I'd really like to live in that building if it's real. That's a really cool place. I posted it to my trusty Facebook to see what the guys over there would think, and well, they came back with a couple of very interesting answers. Oren Mama said it was a real building, and it was a place called Bosco Verticale in Italy. But Judy Lebrona said it was fake because this picture is only an artist concept of the building. The real building looks a lot different, more like this. I don't know about this one. I mean, either that's a real picture of a real building or that's somebody's artwork. So look, this is how I want you to vote. If that's a real picture of a real building in real life, then I want you to vote real, okay? Now, if that's just a concept art of a real building, right? In other words, it's only created in a computer. Maybe they made it before they built the building so they could show people what they wanted to build. That's concept art, right? So if it's concept art, then I want you to vote fake. You ready? Go ahead and vote up here. Leave me an answer down here or just shout it out. I'll jump in the elevator. We'll head up to the penthouse and we will get the official answer, which is
Oh, wow. This thing, you know what? It's real. With all the colored trees and perfectly clean building, you would think this was some kind of fantasy version of the building, but nope. That truly is the Bosque Verticale in Milan, Italy. The picture was taken by a professional photographer, and I'm sorry I'm gonna mangle his name, but Altug Gallup from Cyprus. Mr. Gallup loves to take pictures of colorful buildings as can be seen here in his collection on Shutterstock.com. Coming up, we're looking into reports that a U.S. government agency posted a zombie apocalypse warning. And later, this picture. All right, now let's get down to some serious business about zombies and apocalypses. Sam Darrow 02 was the first one to submit this report and wrote, Bill, I've been wondering about that zombie page on the CDC. Is it real? or fake. Sam, CDC stands for Centers for Disease Control, and it just happens to be one of the U.S. government's most important agencies for protecting public health. Now, if the CDC is posting things about zombie apocalypses, well, that is important news. All right, guys, here's the post, and here is part of what it says. There are all kinds of emergencies out there that we can prepare for. Take a zombie apocalypse for example. That's right, I said zombie apocalypse. You may laugh now, but when it happens you'll be happy you read this. From there, the post goes on to uh, give you tips about what to do uh, if there is a zombie apocalypse or an emergency like that. Uh, and it mostly centers around creating an emergency kit and an emergency plan. Okay guys, take another good look at this thing and make up your own mind. Now, if you think this is a real post put on there by the CDC itself, well, then the answer is real. If on the other hand, you think this was placed there by hackers or this isn't really the CDC website, then just go with fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a smoking gun answer, Go with unknown. Okay, so let the world know what you're thinking. And while you do that, I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what the CDC is thinking. Now, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, the way the world's been going the last couple of years, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a zombie apocalypse coming. I mean, these are weird times. All right, let's see what they say here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give me a sec. Yeah, all right. All right, don't get freaked out. I don't want you to be scared because, you know, there's always an action and a counter reaction. And your counter reaction could mean the difference between being prepared and not being prepared. Because the official answer from the CDC, whether they posted that blog to prepare yourself for a zombie apocalypse, is real. Yep, that's right. This post is an official post on the CDC website, and it did exactly what it was intended to do, draw a lot of people to the site to check it out. They even made a video about it. An increasing number of citizens in remote areas are disappearing. As more people disappear, the number of gruesome, unexplained deaths is increasing, especially at night. We've identified the perpetrators as difficult to kill, flesh-eating zombies. All right, now before you start freaking out, let's remember one thing. In a situation like this, it always pays to take a look at the details. If you look at the description box down here, it says the video is fictional, as in fake. It was made to help school-aged children learn the basics of emergency preparedness. Okay, now you can say what you want about how wise it was for the CDC to plant that little hoax on their website, but guess what? Educators love it. They demand more because they say kids pay attention. Uh, and so the CDC is continuing to update their zombie preparedness page to remind you guys it's always good to have an emergency kit and an emergency plan. <laughs> Next up, we move into the beautiful world of flowers and this picture. It was submitted by Chris Sanchez, who just wrote, 
Is it true there's a monkey-like flower? Chris, when it comes to nature, you know what I always say, anything is possible. But on the other hand, this one's a little bit hard to believe. Okay guys, take another good look and let the world know what you think. Are these real flowers? Or maybe somebody, something that somebody just cooked up in their computer, uh, as in big fat fake. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's see who's got it right and who's got it wrong. I hope it's real because I'd really like to have a flower like that in my yard, if you know what I mean. But on the other hand, you know, the more I look at that picture, what would make that flower even better? If it modeled itself after the wise monkeys in Japan, what, what is that thing where the monkeys go, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Now, if that flower did that, that would be awesome. Well, let's see what it is. Let's see if we can just get it with smiling monkeys on it. Uh, and the official answer is, wow, believe it or not, real. Thanks to my super sleuths on Facebook like Landon Ford, David Lore, and Elijah James Franco, just to name a few, uh, we now know this is a real flower, and get this, it's called a Dracula simia, or more popularly known as a monkey orchid. Unfortunately for most of us, the flower is very rare and can only be found in Ecuador and Peru. It only grows at high elevations and was only first discovered in 1978. All right, well, I guess this brings us to my favorite part of the show, which is my favorite fake of the week. But before we do that, let's take a look at some all new, fantastic, over the top, belongs in a museum, fan art. First up is this interesting piece from the Flying Penguin. He drew Bill as a half werecat. I think that's kind of like a werewolf, only it's a cat. He said he thought it would be cool if Bill transformed into the very things he tries to stop. Very clever, Flying Penguin. Who knows, maybe I do. Next up is this colorful work from Camo. This picture shows some creepy pastas attacking YouTube. The people watching YouTube, represented by this guy, need to know if they are real or fake. Very well done, Camo, thanks. How about this masterpiece from Jerry the Cartoon Dog? It shows Bill confronting a cartoon dog. Now we not only have cartoon cat, but a cartoon dog as well. Nice job, Jerry. Here's a pencil drawn portrait of You Know Who by Miller Habib. A sketch from Krosef with all the usual subjects. Another cute sketch from Will Ness. And this one from Jake Nightmares. Joella Reed drew this with colored pencils. It shows Bill flying around with a jetpack and has a shark with a gun on its back. Very inventive, Joella. Thanks. And finally, we have a simple but masterful BFF tableau from Sammy. Love it. And so fake it's funny from Matthew. Great cartoon cat, Matthew. Thank you. And now for my favorite fake of the week. It was sent in by Anonymous and shows what has become a genre of sorts, things hitting the moon. Now, why I like this one is because of the soundtrack. You hear the boom? Well, here's the deal. Sound travels at over 700 miles per hour or 1,100 kilometers per hour, but the moon is over 200,000 miles or 321,000 kilometers away. So that means when that thing hit the moon, the sound would take at least five minutes before it would reach the Earth, making this video. So, so fake, fake, it's funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one. <laughs>